Hello students, welcome to the lecture series of software engineering course. Today, I'll cover one of the most important topic of software engineering that is software development life cycle in short STLC. If you want to watch my previous videos on software engineering, you may go to the link mentioned in the description box. Now, I'll start with software development life cycle. So software development life cycle is basically a systematic process or a systematic methodology to build the software and ensures the quality and correctness of the software. As you can see, software development life cycle basically defines the life cycle of the development process of the, of the software. So this life cycle basically has some set of activities and these set of activities basically called the phases of life cycle. So the phases of life cycle are first one requirement analysis design, coding, testing, deployment, so there are six phases that comes under the life cycle model of software development these phases are requirement analysis software design coding or implementation testing deployment and maintenance so i'll start with the requirement analysis So in the first phase of SDLC process, that is requirement analysis. And in the requirement analysis, all the relevant information is collected from the customer to build the software as per their expectations. And in this requirement phase, generally the top members like business analysts and project managers set up the meeting with the customers to know about their requirements or to gather the requirements of the software. And these requirements like their expectations, who will be the end user, purpose of the product and so on. Once all the requirements are understood, completed, a formal document is prepared and this document is called Software Requirement Specification, in short SRS. And this SRS, considers to be the formal mutual agreement between the customer and the developer for future reference. So my next phase is design phase, software design.
so in the design phase basically under this phase entire software and its elements are designed and under this there are two types of design one is high level design in short hld and another one is low level design in short lld so the activities comes under high level design are so the activities comes under high level design are firstly brief description and name of every module and outline that along with the functionality of each module database tables identified along with their key elements interface relationships and dependencies between the module and at last complete the architectural design according to the technology details and the activities comes under low level design are so the activities comes under low level design are firstly functional logic of each modules are defined database tables includes types and size complete all the interfaces addresses all the types of dependency issues listing all the error messages and at last complete input and output for every module so these are the activities that comes under the design phase and design phase considers to be the crucial phase of sdlc process because failure at this phase may result to the over budget or time collapses at worst so this is the software design phase now the third phase is the coding phase so uh, under the coding phase once the software design is over then the next phase coding starts in this phase the actual development of the software starts and build the product so basically under this phase the tasks are divided into units or modules and then assigned to the development team for writing codes as per their chosen programming languages and this phase considers to be the longest phase of stlc processes so my next phase is the testing phase
So the testing phase, the testing starts once the coding phase is over and all the modules are released for testing. In this phase, the overall system is tested thoroughly and any bugs or defects if found, they fixed or they assigned to the development team to get it fixed. So the quality assurance and testing team basically handles or detects these bugs or defects. So when they get the errors or when they get the bugs or the defects, they send it to the development team to get it fixed. Once all the bugs or defects get fixed by the development team, it sends back to the quality assurance team for retesting. And this process continues until the software is bug free, stable and working as per the business needs of the software. So the next phase of SDLC process is deployment phase. So uh, deployment phase, basically the goal of this phase is to deliver or to deploy the software. As once the software is completed and has no bugs, it is shipped to the market for beta testing. The support team collects the feedback from the first user and any changes, any bugs or any defects assigns to the development team to get it fixed. And after that, the final version is rolled out. And at last, my last phase of SDLC process is maintenance. So once the software is deployed and customer starts using the software, three activities may occur. One is the bug fixing, another one is upgrade and third one is enhancement. That all comes under the maintenance phase. In the bug fixing as the software now is used at the customer's end or at the customer's environment, so possibility of occurrence of new bugs can be there. So it all handles under the maintenance phase. The second upgrade that is upgrading the application to the newer version of the software and enhancement, adding some new features to the existing software. So these activities are handled by the maintenance phase. So hope you understand the software development life cycle process that is STLC process and you would be able to understand the phases of SDLC process which is requirement analysis, design, coding, testing, deployment and maintenance. Now the question arises over here, why SDLC? So the reason behind using this SDLC process 
The first one, it provides visibility to all the stakeholders of the software product. Second, it eliminates risks, risks that are related to the budget overruns or the uh, deadline uh, breaches. It allows to control the project and the process continues until all the requirements are met. So guys, hope you understand the today's topic of software development lifecycle process SDLC, the phases of SDLC and the reason why SDLC. So thank you students, keep watching and listening.